Well, good evening and welcome to the Bridge Broadcast Show. I am excited to have you here with me, uh, Tina Boyle White, your host. This evening, I am really excited to have this opportunity through WYTV7, Christian Broadcasters Network Incorporated. They had you in mind when they brought me along to share with you what I'm up to uh, and what I'd like to do with you. Well, the Bridge Broadcasters Network, what we're going to do through my show is to today introduce you to who I am and what I will be bringing to you in this show. And I will go over a simple uh, walkthrough of my website. I will share the website name with you that we have through the Broadcasters Network. And then I'll come back and share a little bit with you about how the show will go uh, throughout this season. This is my first season with WYTV7 Christian Broadcasters Network, and I'm just really grateful and blessed to have this opportunity. So without delay, who am I? Who am I your host? My ho your host, Tina Boyle-White. I'd like to take you, for those of you who are watching, I'd like to take you to um, the bridge through uh, WYTV7 Broadcasters Network um, dot org. It is WYTV7 dot org. The bridge, and share a little bit of w uh, with you so that you can go there and like to, so that you can learn more about me, Tina Boyle White, and the bridge. For those who are listening, a little bit about who I am. I'm Tina Boyle White, and I have I have. A background in uh, master's in education administration. And I'm recently been honored to receive an honorary doctorate in human services. And what I what I do is I bring years of developing people uh, across the world. And uh, my background is uh, in K twelve education. I've served in the United States Air Force for over, over thirty years now. I'm recently retired. Throughout my military career, I've had the opportunity to serve over 700 people throughout the country, developing uh, them as uh, leaders in the Air Force Reserve uh, military. Um, I've also had the opportunity to become a distinguished Toastmaster, um, where I've learned how to uh, create unique messages catered to uh, helping people such as yourself, my audience. And one of the things that I've learned as a distinguished Toastmaster is to help create transformative messages to shift people from where they are to where they want to be. And that's the unique thing about my show, The Bridge, the Bridge Show, is that the focus of our, the show is to uh, help you get across the bridge. And the bridge for me is the analogy from you transforming from one place to the, the next. I'm a trained life coach. I incorporate all the tools that I've learned and gained um, for individuals to develop and be strong and have that transformative experience and have that experience to work through getting through the bridge. I will use, again, whatever tools it takes to help you transform. Now, what am I looking to bring here? I talked about transformation and I talked about some of the some of the focus that I will have as it relates to transformation and the bridge. My real desire is to really see individuals transform um, in spirit, in soul, and in, in body. And when I say spirit, soul, and body, I, I'm looking at you as the spirit man and looking at your soul, your mind, will, and your emotions, and your body physically. And what I will bring to you, my audience, is information and guests who will share their stories and their testimonies of how they overcome. And the unique thing about my show, The Bridge, um, if you go to Spreaker.com slash show the dash bridge underscore two, you will find uh, Tina Boyle White, The Bridge, there. And just to share with you a little bit about my mission, 
My mission is to inspire people through a facilitated transformative experience through personal stories of triumphs and victories. And the, script, the scripture that I use to help me know uh, that, that people have been transformed, the scripture is they have been overcome by the blood of the lamb and the words of their testimonies, Revelation 12 and 11. That's a foundational scripture for me, um, being overcome. And we will be talking about how you overcome in spirit, soul, and body. And when people overcome, they testify. We share. And so that's what we'll be doing on the show. Another scripture for you to help, for you to understand who I am, is I say Isaiah 61 and 1. You'll see that when you go to my uh, Spreaker.com radio page. You want to look up the bridge again. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me and commissioned me to bring the good news to the humble and afflicted. He has sent me to bind up the wounds of the brokenhearted, to proclaim release from confinement and condemnation to the physical and spiritual captives and freedom to the prisoners. And that is my, my, my personal mission, is to really help you as a transformational strategist um, to facilitate an environment where through the broadcast, you can f feel and experience the power of God through my, through my stories, through my testimonies, through uh, books that I share, through the guests that I will have on, on the show. And I am committed to, committed to seeing people, God's people, live a life of victory in Christ Jesus through the word the word of others and through the word of their own testimonies, as I mentioned in Revelation 12, 11. And what I stand for and I stand strongly for is uh, people living their best lives by living a life full of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And my vision is being fulfilled through WYTV7, the Christian Broadcasters Network, um, is seeing the people see br the bridge, the analogy of the bridge as a gateway to come from where you are out of your confinement out of your prison place um, to where you want to go to where you want to be and not only want but where you need to be to to conquer this life so I'm excited that I have this opportunity to share with you so that's who I am and that's that's what I'm bringing to you as a uh, WITV7 broadcaster on your show on this show so I, I i'm excited please go to my website tina boyle white t-i-n-a b-o-y-l-e w-h-y-t-e dot com find me there see what i'm all about you, you will see that my page is all about transformation transformation transform your life you transform your world take a look at that Take control of your life. That's what we're looking for. Um, stop talking and start living. Discover your, your greatest self. Take back your life. That's what I'm up to. I'm up to you experiencing your best life. Are you ready to receive your best life? Well, I know you are. And more so, God is ready for you to, you to live your best life as well. The next thing that I'd like to talk to you about, this radio show, or this, this broadcast show, is going to uh, have a lot of people uh, who have experienced triumphs and who's used faith, faith to overcome, and, and they're standing on their, the words of their testimony. So what is it that, what is it that we're going to be doing on this broadcast network? Well, I have a season lined up for you. And in this season, um, the season uh, will go from September 1 through June 30th. And throughout the season, as I've laid it out, what's on my heart for you, you'll, you'll be experiencing me introduce you to uh, topics like faith to overcome brokenness, uh, the power of transformation. And when I mention spirit, soul, and body, it'll be some scriptures. Um, it will be wisdom and it will be some knowledge. So, so if you have 
you know, a desire to transform your body, you want to lose weight, I will have specialists, specialists, specialists on, specialists on my um, I will find tips and research tips that will help you get from where you are to where you want and need to be. If you're looking at how to heal your soul, like overcoming brokenness, I'll be talking to uh, guests who will speak to you about that. And if you're looking for a spiritual transformation and you're just stuck, you will find that I have the tools and the resources that you need. As I mentioned that uh, earlier, that I'm, I'm a trained coach and Throughout uh, our broadcast, we will have the opportunity to experience some coaching sessions. I, I may bring individuals online who will agree to uh, walk with me through a coaching experience so that they can overcome something that they've been dealing with. You, you will find me utilizing that to, for you to see yourself through the individual. It is my goal for you to be awakened to what's going on in your world and not be stuck anymore. One of the key things that I'm really excited about is that I'll have the opportunity to share with you um, about my transformation. Uh, some of the key resources and books, of course, the Word of God uh, as a tool to help uh, that has helped me overcome and transform. One of my uh, one of the key scriptures that I really love is. Uh, Romans 12 and 2, and I'll just share that with you. And it says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. And so as I think about that scripture, it, it's, it's being in the place that you're not confined or you're conformed, but you're, you're always in a state of moving beyond where you are. And that is what the bridge is about, getting you to move from one side to the other. Have you ever found yourself being in a situation where you saw something you wanted and it seemed so far away and you had fear just paralyzing you, stopping you from moving in that direction? Well, you know, it happens to the most of us. And most of us don't know how to handle that. Fear. Most of us don't know who to talk to, and most of us don't know where to start. And when I say fear, fear is such a crippler. Um, what I've learned and what I've experienced is that in order to overcome fear, you have to take action. And so, again, the bridge is an analogy of you taking that action, taking that step, stepping out into that place taking that first step to cross, cross the bridge. Once you take that, that first step, the momentum is there. And so this is what we will be talking about uh, in my broadcast. So I want to share with you some of the things, just, just so that you know, just because I'm on this broadcast, I experience the same things you experience. And when you look on my page and you look on several pages, there's three things that I want to share with you about things that I've transformed into the, the next show that you'll hear. We'll talk a little bit more going into a definition of what transformation is. And we'll, I'll, I'll give you references to uh, books and, and chapters that I've read that is, that has been critical in helping me transform. And so you look at me now, I, I don't look exactly like I look on my pictures. Um, and, and the reason is, is that I needed a transformation in my mind about my hair. And so while I love my hair, um, it was a relaxed form of hair. And for those of you who don't know black hair, uh, black hair naturally grows out in a curly, tight um, coil. And so for many years, I said, I'm not going to go natural. I'm not going to go natural. Um, I can't live with my hair being natural. But it wasn't until I had an opportunity, um, I was in my class and a student uh, was laughing and I had wondered, so why are you laughing? And she, she got up and said, Miss Boyle White, you're going bald. And she said, you have alopecia. And while I knew I was going bald right in the center of my head, because I was relaxing using chemicals, 
I resisted it. I resisted it because I had a frame in my mind as to what going natural meant for me as a black woman. And so some circumstances came along such that I had to make that transition to natural hair. That wasn't, it wasn't an easy transition. Only because my mind was blocking it. My, the fear that I had uh, in my mind, I was, I was being blocked in my mind. And so um, I made the move. I took the first step. And little by little, um, I didn't make what they call the big chop. But I did a gradual, a gradual move toward that. And finally, I said, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm going, I'm taking all of this hair off and I'm, I'm going totally natural. And I eventually did the big chop after a couple of steps, but it was my process. I had to get moving or I could have just been in the place where I had beautiful hair all around my head, except for in the middle. So for me, that was a big transformation that I just made within the last, within the last year. Another transformation I experienced was, was swimming. When I was 13 years old, I had the opportunity to um, take swimming uh, in high school. And where I'm from, everybody takes swimming as a, a freshman foundational class. And I never had the opportunity to go back and to recapture um, the class that I missed. My grandmother had, pat we had to go down to uh, Texas from Wisconsin to take care of my grandmother. And after being there for a while, um, she had passed on, but it was beyond the time when I came back to Milwaukee that I could learn how to swim. Now, I'm not sure why I didn't say I need another class. I could have easily said I need another class, but I never did. And so from 13 to now uh, 49, 36 years, I've never known how to swim. And so I had an opportunity to, with a fellow coworker to, to challenge me or to invite me to go swimming. And I took the opportunity up. Well, Again, that fear, and I, I say fear because I want you all to understand, fear is your biggest opposer to your transforming. Um, I overcame that fear and I said, okay, I'm doing this. And so I began to get in the water little by little and I, I started moving and it was a gradual step. Now, remember I said, taking that first step on the bridge, you have to start with a, a little step. And even if it's not a big step, and a little step could be something as small as turning your foot, not even 50 degrees, but turning your feet 10, 10 degrees and making that step toward what it is that you desire. So I got in the pool and gradually I went from uh, treading the water to using a, a paddle to uh, swimming with my arms. But what I wanna remind you that um, as you jump in and you take the steps to move toward what it is that you desire, there will be challenges, uh, challenges that will come to prevent you from really taking that full step. And so um, I, I just had thoughts coming to me saying that you were gonna drown. You're, you're gonna drown, you, you're, gonna, you're not getting out that water, you're gonna drown. And so I had to go against the thoughts that were coming into my mind and the thoughts around just drowning, which is the main reason why most adult people don't even go and learn how to swim. And so um, I, I defeated that by again, taking action. And I was really excited. And so I, I have a new love for swimming. I attained my goal and I even went into the deep water treading, but I did it. And so that was another transformation. I transformed my thoughts around my ability to swim. And the last example that I wanna share with you, I share with you my age. I stepped out and did something that um, I thought I would never do. Um, after seeing several people coming into my school environment, um, I decided that I wanted to be a referee and a referee for sports. I never had the opportunity to take any sports when I was uh, in high school, nor did I take any or do any sports as an adult. 
But I decided to just step into a place that was totally unfamiliar to me to take on take on something that I had never done, let alone study. And this this recent summer, I started refereeing bas basketball. I did three camps, and it was quite an experience. And every time that I didn't make a call right or didn't blow the whistle, I said, I'm going to do this. I, I, I stayed the course. And so um, just getting out there, even when you think people will laugh at you or you may be embarrassed, the transformation process, it may bring that, but, but it's something that you have to stay the course. You will never get to the life that God has promised you. He said, I came that you may have in, and enjoy life, and, and I'm re reading, a, I'm paraphrasing another version. You may, I, he said, I, I have come that you may have and enjoy life in abundance to the full until it overflows. And, and that is my desire for you to have that life that God wants you to have. A life of abundance, a life of, of fullness, a, a life of overflow. And what, what happens in that is that the enemy will come and rob you of that life that God is calling you to have. And I shared with you three simple examples of things that I've overcome to, to transform. And the goal here is for you to understand that transformation doesn't happen just one time. Transformation, in my analogy, is the crossing over of several bridges to get to where you want to go. And so I am here as your broadcast host, as well as your coach online to walk you from where you are to where you want and need to be. And guess what? I am excited about it. So that's my transformation. I am looking forward to you stepping into your transformations. And as you listen to me from week to week, and as you listen to many of the guests and the hosts, uh, a guest that I will bring on as your host, um, you will begin to do that. And so without delay, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite mentors in the gospel and in, in, um, in natural wisdom are John Maxwell. John Maxwell is the leader on uh, leadership throughout the world. Um, Charles Caps. Charles Caps is the greatest, um, the late Charles Caps. He has wonderful books that I, I use to help me uh, to just walk this this life. Uh, another book that I um, or author that I use and refer refer to as my mentor is the late Miles Monroe. I had the opportunity to meet him in South Africa one year, and I was just my mouth had dropped because I'd seen my mentor. And I'm excited and, uh, to share with you what I've learned from him. Uh, we will be utilizing uh, books to really take a look at trauma. Uh, James Allen um, is another awesome book that I use, As a Man Thinketh in His Heart. We will be looking at big thinking. We will, as, as I talk to you, that this is spirit, soul, and body. We will be thinking um, and looking through and talking uh, about your thinking, your uh, how you think, and how you act, because your thinking is everything. So, so that's that's what we're going to do. We'll be looking uh, through uh, great books, and I'll be bringing resources. In addition to that, we'll have great speakers, and this is an opportunity. If you know somebody who would like to be a part of what I'm doing who has a story or a testimony to share, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and share with me if it's you or someone you know who would like to be on this show. And after this, after I, after I do several teachings, I'll have an interview style where we go back and forth. I also want to remind you that WITV7.org has other amazing shows uh, such as Life After uh, uh, the military or life after war, you'll find the, the host that uh, hosts that. Uh, my good friend Lynn Dimmons, uh, she has uh, financial confidence. And there's many, many more uh, speakers that uh, or and hosts of shows that you will find that will be a blessing to your spirit, soul, and body. 
Um, I do I do look forward to having you join me on a weekly basis because we're bringing you to that next transformation. I again want to thank our partners for uh, allowing us to be able to come to you. And in days to come, I my husband and I share a ministry. You will see both of us on the show um, several times. And I have a special gift that I want to share with you before you go that I would love to be able to coach you. And, and it, uh, the gift is www.bankcode.com slash win the sale, W-I-N-T-H-E-S-A-L-E. And we will be looking at concepts like money and business. So this is a tool that I'll use to help you as well. I am looking forward to seeing you, but before we, we go, I want to make sure that you share comments, feedback, thoughts. I want to hear from you. Uh, you can all also find me on Spreaker.com, Twitter.com, LinkedIn, Spotify, Google, Pinterest, YouTube, and of course, WITV7. Um, the next time you will see me will be Monday at 8 p.m., right here, right in front of you. And before we close, I just want to say a word of prayer over you, my listening audience. Father, I thank you for my listening audience. I pray that you touch the lives of each person on this uh, broadcast who is listening in on whatever platform they're listening in. I pray that you touch their lives and begin to shift within them the things that you have in store for them. You ship them to that next move. And Father, I thank you that the Bridge uh, broadcast show will be a tool to help them overcome and you will be glorified as a result of their transformation. Father, I thank you for this and I pray all of this in Jesus' name. Well, I'll see you next time where we will continue to talk about your transformation. Have a blessed evening.